This video is about goji berries, as the title implies. I do want to, as I did in my first video, just put this brief intro in that this is a learning curve for me with the video equipment. And so I filmed this on a windy day, not knowing that it was going to be as disruptive as it was to have that wind present. However, I want to be able to share even as I learn and not get hung up on mistakes I'm making, but instead have those be tools for learning for myself and for others if desired. So I did adjust the volume in the videos as best I could. Adjusting the volume means that the wind really picked up on some parts of the video and I don't yet know how to fix that or if that even can be fixed. Some of it may be just learning to not film on a windy day. So I wanted to preface the video by saying that uh, and I am learning to better film in, in more appropriate uh, times as time goes on. Today I wanted to make a brief video about goji berries because I recently got one and I've had and thus far having some success with getting it established in our zone even though it was planted in beginning of July which is not the best time to plant and I was able to make some divisions and actually make a few more goji berries which was very exciting for me so I thought I would share that. This itself is the goji berry. I have a bunch of other stuff around it that I am letting do its thing right now and then I'll, I want my ultimate goal is to dig these up that are surrounding it that I don't want in that area because this will be perennial. This will come back every year. If you were to look up what an established goji berry looks like, it's a shrub or a shrubbing habit but you can actually prune it to look like a tree the person that i got this division from that gave me this goji berry um i got it as a live division chunk of a runner that she had coming out of hers and she had hers pruned to look like a tree and it looked really really nice so this if we zoom in here a little bit actually is a couple different pieces here that when I first planted it in the beginning of July in this zone it did die back considerably it was a much larger piece when I got it from her but now with well, I'd say three weeks or so it's been in the ground it's coming back really nicely it has all this new growth coming in on the tips I'm hoping it will fruit next year because it did have a few berries on it when I got it but what I really like is just that it's becoming so well established and it really is doing well in this area. I've wanted to grow them for a few years, but I, the majority of what I found online to try and buy any were um, either starting them from seed, which would take a long time, or getting like a sterile cutting of a little division of one, and I didn't know how well that would work. So goji berries, one could look up their health benefits online. They're considered a uh, superfood. They have all of the eight essential amino acids. They're considered a perfect plant source of protein. So they're actually high in protein. They're high in vitamins and minerals. If you were to go to the natural food section at the store, you would actually pay quite a bit for dried goji berries. I don't know that I've even seen fresh, but you probably could, could find them fresh. They're in the nightshade family. Um, and so they taste, the taste that I had was slightly tomato-y. I mean, it's called a berry, but it doesn't taste pop berry-like. It's more of a health supplement almost. Um, so my, I'm excited to have these, hoping to do more of a dried, I've seen them dried and dehydrated in trail mixes and things like that, or dried and dehydrated into goji powder, which you would then add to smoothies or shakes. It really is more supplementary. I will continue to update as this continues to grow, it will obviously not bear for me this year, but I'm hoping next year. But the other thing I wanted to show from the one division was my excitement over the some other things that happened with it. So I'll show you what else happened. When I got that division, it's getting windy here, um, there was a piece that was breaking off of the root ball. And so rather than do anything differently with that or try and plant the whole thing together as one root ball, I broke that piece off, I planted it here, so this is in a different area from uh, 
where the other one was planted, if I scroll over here, right over across my front walkway is that goji berry. That's the one I just was looking at coming back here. So basically I tried to flank them on either side of my entryway because I really liked the way that the, they look pruned to a tree standard look. But my excitement is that these are pretty much done for, that's fine. But this one, this little made this little one made it from the root ball. So I'm excited about that. So that'll be a second goji berry that I'll have. And this is just some time that I have around it. The actual top of the plant was brown and didn't look very good. And I thought, well, I'm gonna have to prune that back because I don't think that the plant at that point when you first plant something, it's going to use all of its energy to try and get established in the ground. So you can read and find out what plants do do well or do okay being pruned once they're planted. And there are some that don't. It just would be a matter of researching that or knowing that. And uh, planting at the right time. So spring and fall are the best times to plant. The, your plant isn't in Minnesota in this zone. Your plant isn't fighting the additional obstacle of the weather and the heat to try and also get established. So to plant in the summer is not ideal. I was already expecting for it to struggle. That was not my surprising to me at all. So when it started to struggle, I wanted to prune it back so that the plant could have still leaves because it still needs to use photosynthesis. It still needs leaves to live, but it wouldn't be trying to manufacture leaves and supply nutrients for the entire stock of this plant, I would prune it back. You could focus on getting some energy to the root ball and still have some, like you saw, the growth I left was, you know, a couple of inches. So what I did with the pieces that I pruned off, as opposed to throwing them away, they were brown looking sticks or twigs at that time, but I instead took them inside, which I have some really simple lights in my house. Um, and I can post a video about that at some point too. First put the twigs, the, the pruned off tops of that goji berry in water and just having them in water and under that light forced the growth here. So now I've got new growth all up the length of what was just that stick, that top of that goji berry that didn't have anything on it because it wasn't dead. It just was struggling to survive because it had been recently planted. So I brought it inside, I put it under some light just in water, and once all of those buds forced out and I saw that it was alive and doing okay, I took it out of the water. I'd say that was about two weeks worth of water, a week and a half. Took it out, dried off the bottom portions here and dipped them lightly in rooting hormone and then I got them in these little pots here. So these actually now, after I'd say a week or two, if you pull when you're trying to root something, right now you can't tell what I'm doing, but I am gently pulling to see if it moves. If something yanks right out of the pot, again, after you put it in there, there's no root establishing a hold in the dirt. So my light attempt at tugging here, actually they're not moving, which means they're I'm going to believe there's some root structure forming down there. I don't want to rip it out of the pot and see here. I'm defeating the whole purpose, but I'm excited about that. So ideally I will have four goji berries from the one that I got. And I was able to do all of that in a really 